It's Christmas in a few days and I thought why not making an experiment that makes a nice silver mirror on test tubes which you could hang up on your Christmas tree. All you need is a so-called Tollens reagent which is just silver nitrate. I made it myself, that's why it's um, a bit yellow just by pouring some HNO3 on the metal silver. That's why it's pretty expensive, it's made from real silver and um, some ammonia which uh, we will need for our redox reaction. It's just a classical redox reaction to find out if there is an aldehyde group on the molecule you examine. For example, we will um, use glucose and as you may know there is an um, aldehyde group on top of it and it can be oxidized so that you get an acid from the glucose and carbon acid and um, the the um, silver nitrate gets reduced to make elemental silver. When we talked about sugars in high school we did the same experiment so that's just a glucose molecule and here's the aldehyde group that can be oxidized and here's the experiment um, the Tollens reagent we will pour in a test tube together with the molecule we want to examine, which is glucose in this case, um, then we heat it up and we get a nice silver mirror on the test tube. Yeah, and that's how you can find out if there is an aldehyde group in a molecule. The first step is just to put a small amount of silver nitrate in the test tube. It should be enough. And then I just add some water, distilled water. Okay, should be enough. I've already added one drop of ammonia to the silver nitrate solution, and then you get this silver oxide, brownish silver oxide solution. But we want a silver complex, that's why you just simply have to add some more ammonia and um, then you should get rid of this brown color, you see? It disappears. Okay, we need some more ammonia. Now it's colorless again and now you can just add the molecule you want to examine. Now I'll add some glucose to the solution because that's the substance I want to check for another high group. Should be enough. Mix it a bit. Now heat it up on a Bunsen burner, but do not boil the solution. Don't need a powerful flame, because you just want to heat that. Yeah, and you see that silver mirror? Nice. Now you know that there is an aldehyde group in the glucose molecule. Maybe I added a bit too much glucose. It's not necessary. A smaller amount will do too. It's important to always make your silver nitrate ammonia mixture or solution before you do the experiment and not in advance because um, then you will make silver acide which is a very dangerous explosive. And that's another reason why you can't keep the silver mirror with the fluid in it. You have to pour it out and maybe add some acetone in um, the, the test tube so that um, the silver mirror doesn't oxide anymore, isn't oxidized anymore by the air. 
That's how the silver mirror looks after the experiment. I put out the liquid and um, we've got now a nice decoration for a Christmas tree. I don't know if it made a remarkable difference for you, but I got two soft boxes to improve the light quality of my videos and the next step will be to um, replace Movie Maker by, the, by a better um, program to cut the videos and um, I'm sorry that there aren't many videos in the last time but I've got just lots of things to do for school that's why I haven't got much time left okay our Christmas tree is still outdoors but um, I hung up the test tube with a silver mirror and I must say it looks pretty nice I've never been that creative my entire life and um, that's a real chemist Christmas tree I think <laughs>